Hello, 3Designers. This is Joshua St. John, 3Design NYC on the forum. And welcome to another installment of the Video Demonstration Series. Today's demonstration is going to be called Advanced Texture. And uh, in order to participate, you're going to need to download a couple of files off the forum. The first of which is the Advanced Texture Demo VTF. The second, Advanced Texture Demo JPG. And the third, Advanced Texture Demo VNA. I'm really excited about today's demonstration. Advanced 3D Texture is an awesome tool in 3Design. It's really unique. And it's one of the tools in 3Design that connects 3Design to some of Vision Numeric's other programs. You know, Vision Numeric were, of course, the developers of 3Design, but uh, we also make a number of other applications. We create artistic engineering solutions, and we participate in a lot of different markets, ranging from jewelry, of course, mold making, sign making, engraving, recognition, uh, industrial. But uh, the product we're going to talk about now, and the one that relates to advanced texture, is called Type 3. Type 3 is a really special product. We make a lot of different versions of it um, that drive a lot of different types of machines, from laser cutters to water cutters, mills. What's interesting to us is the software side of it, as it allows us to very quickly take a flat image and make a relief of it, with a lot of detail and very compelling. So that, that relief that is made is saved as a VNA file, and that's what you downloaded, and that's what we're going to employ a little later on down the road here. But let's get started and um, let's open up that document we downloaded. For me it's on the desktop, Advanced Texture Demo. And take a look at what we got here on the screen. I'm going to hide my axes and planes and open up my tree. So it's just a datum, which means it has no history, but um, the surfaces I have prepared just the way that I want them for use in advanced texture. Advanced texture is in special effects and it's this piece that looks like a kind of like a yellow sponge down here. So I'm going to select the ring and then choose advanced texture. So we're going to open up our properties down here and take a look at what we got. Material, 18 karat yellow gold, happy with that. Precision, we'll leave it in the middle. This stuff should be familiar to you. Now our first tab is called Pattern. And underneath Pattern we have Source Type, VNA File, which is the Type 3 product, Type Art. Um, image, which would be like a JPEG or a bitmap. And Texture. Well, we'll talk about these three and we're going to start off with texture. Texture we don't need any external file for. It's all contained within the function. I don't need to import anything in. So uh, in order to access the texture, I just double click on the texture and this little widget pops up. And this widget has all these slide bars and uh, parameters that I can change and view to make different texture patterns. So this is all under stone. If I go down and change it to concentric circles, preview what that looks like. I get this circle. I need uh, more of an offset, like a stripe depth. We'll change that to 0.5 millimeter. Now you'll see I have this much deeper kind of cut. I'm going to leave it on stone and I'm going to set the parameters like so. And then validate that. I'm not going to click on make tileable and I'll show you why and what that does. I'm going to go to my second tab, support object. This is why my surfaces are important. This is why we imported, uh, that's why we're using this prepared VTF. So this surface here is the surface I want to apply the texture to. Third tab, position. Position, 
It's fine for me right there. I can also resize it here. And if you notice, I can turn off keep ratio and make the height greater or smaller. I'm going to actually set it at 0.5 here, so a half millimeter of texture. And uh, I'm going to move to the next tab, duplication. Smooth edges, that's good. Duplicate pattern, yes. And I'm just going to go ahead and validate. And boom, look at that. That texture that we set up is applied to all of those surfaces very quickly. And I didn't need to import anything in to do that. Go to my texture widget. Adjust this a little. Preview it. Try something different just to show you the results. Not have, there we go. And validate. And boom. But notice, it, it kind of looks like patchwork almost. If you can see, the texture is not covering it up enough in this one. So we see this patchwork quality happening. I'm going to double click back on. And remember this tab, Make Tileable? I'm going to hit Make Tileable. And now validate again and see what happens. And there we go. That tiling quality is gone. So Make Tileable actually gets rid of the tiling effect. You're getting an idea for what Advanced Texture does. It adds texture. Let's switch to the next tab and try Image. I'm going to click on the uh, images and automatically it opens up to my black and white texture directory. These files are also available on the forum for you. And these are just black and white images. Bricks. Open that up. the position bricks in the front here. See how that wraps. Now of course all of our other uh, options are already set from the last time so we can just go ahead and validate and it's going to switch that texture from the ruffled kind of texture of this from the widget to hopefully this brick pattern. See how it goes. It's pretty good. It's definitely not sy completely symmetrical, but I think the result's pretty good. I'm happy with that. So I'll take another image, give it a shot. Try something like these polka dots. Interesting. So you, you see, it's taking these these images and it's basically assigning a depth to the color of the pixel. So if you were to take black, if you take a grayscale, black is zero height, white is one. This, this image tool is taking it and assigning a value to the height based on the, the color. Now, if I was to take all of these images I've picked so far are very well defined, very simple. Let's try something a little bit more cluttered. We'll go with something like that marble. Validate that. I think this is going to come out a lot more like the texture widget. It's just going to kind of give like a hammered look or a sandblasted look depending on the sizing that you use. This one's kind of interesting because it adds that kind of uh, striations. The quality of the image and the simplicity of the image are really going to affect the type of relief that you could do. So you can't take a picture and add a height field to it and expect to um, get a really high quality relief. 
unless you first go into Photoshop and with some skill and some knowledge go in and kind of even out the colors to get the blending. So if you take an eyeball, for example, the outside is white and the pupil is black. The white is either going to sink way in and the black is going to shoot way out. So in order to get a nice relief, you would, you would have to really even out those colors, make it more in the gray tones. So that's enough about image. You guys can play as much as you want with that. Download as many images as you can find. Post your results on the forum. We would definitely love to see uh, this black and white library grow. Um, so yeah, get out there and just start playing around with that. The next tab that we're going to look at source type is VNA file. And as I mentioned before, this is the type 3 file format. So in order to demonstrate that first, I'm going to hop right in to type 3 and show you how to make a relief of a floor de lis Alright, so I've opened up type 3 and as you can see it looks uh, very different than 3 design. And I'm going to start off by importing a JPEG of the floor de lis that I want to do the relief. Okay, so I'm bringing in the JPEG, and parts of this is going to get a little technical, so I'm not going to go over everything, but basically, I'm highlighting these lines automatically, not tracing them, and I'm going to add a height to them. Click in here, and okay. So now I'm selecting this, and I'm going to set the, the degree And it's going to calculate out the degree, and when it's done, it's going to show me a preview. So yeah, th that's basically it. I've created the height field from the 2D lines. And now I'm going to do some last little details, give some smoothing, and uh, export it as a VNA for use in 3Design. The VNA you've downloaded, you found it on the forum. It's called Advanced Texture VNA now. I'm saving it as Fleur de Lis VNA. And save and export. And that's, uh, that's type 3. That's how powerful it is. That's how intuitive it is. But that is just the tip of the iceberg of what it can do. We'll get back to more of that. We'll talk about some other places you can get the VNAs. We'll head back into 3Design now to finish up this ring we've been working on. Alright, back in familiar territory here. We're going to take a look at our uh, tree. We have the advanced 3D texture with the advanced texture ring datum underneath it. It's interesting to point out that this object, now that we've applied the advanced 3D texture to it, is no longer recognized by the part doctor as, a, as, a, uh, as an object. You can't select it. it. It's a lot like an STL at this point. It's already been turned into a mesh. But it is interesting to note that you can apply a second texture on top of it. So I'm going to click on the X and find the VNA I just made, select that, and it brings it in as such. I can move this all around anywhere I want on the piece. For this I'm going to try to center it like so. Get it from the front view, that looks pretty good, pretty flat going to pick the source object. Notice I can't choose for faces anymore. I can only uh, have my source object. And I'm going to rotate it into position. Scale it up. I'm going to look at it from the side and turn off keep ratio. 
scale that height up as well, bring it up nice and high. <clears throat> and if you notice, it's kind of jagged on the edge here. And it uh, is not bent to fit the surface. So uh, just take note of that. This time we're not going to duplicate pattern or anything, and I think we can just go ahead and validate it. Perfect. That looks really nice. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You can see uh, the combination of 3Design and Type 3 can yield some pretty powerful results really quickly. And uh, let's just pop back into Advanced Texture by double-clicking on the ring and look at our parameters again. So, first of all, we have source type. We talked about VNA files, image, and texture. Bar relief we're not going to get into now. We talked about mixed make tileable. Now the source object, that's the object we imported, uh, the VTF you downloaded from the forum. And that could be any object. It's important to note that uh, you can apply multiple textures on top of each other, but once you've done the first texture, it's no longer a solid file. It becomes a poly mesh. And uh, Boolean operations and things like that become a little bit more complicated when you are dealing with a poly mesh. So, Texture should be the last thing that you're doing in your construction. Position, we talked about this. The important thing to remember, uh, I see people forgetting, keep ratio. Got to turn keep ratio off in order to adjust the height. Duplicate patterns. So let's talk a little bit more about VNA files. Okay, of course you can buy type 3. Uh, it is a camming solution, so the price point of it is reflective of a camming solution. It drives a machine. But uh, there are ways for you to get these VNA files without buying Type 3. There's a website called Vector Clip 3D and I'm gonna hop over to their website right now. So this is Vector Clip 3D and they have a library of models that are available in STL as well as VNA. So we can look through here, we'll look at um, Badges. So we have ambulance symbol, police, etc., etc. So if someone walked into your store and they wanted um, a baseball signet ring, you can come up here, search for baseball, and you'll have these different VNA files to choose from. So the way that uh, Vector Clip 3D works is it's a membership. Um, and then you have access to download these files. Before you go ahead and sign up on Vector Clip 3D, go ahead and get in touch with your local territory manager because 3 Design, Vision Numeric have a lot of different uh, promotions and uh, uh, discounted prices on the, the library. So this is a great source for you to get your VNA files. I think it's going to meet 90% of your needs. And then if you fall into the category of users who type 3 may be interesting, again, get in touch with the territory manager and we can discuss uh, type 3 and what that looks like. So advanced texture. It's an amazing tool. It provides a bridge between 3Design and Type 3, our other product. Vector Clip 3D, the online library of these files, is going to be a great resource for all of you. Um, as always, get up on the forum, discuss these videos, post your questions. I'll try to get to them as soon as possible. Uh, I really enjoyed this demo. I think it's uh, a really unique tool that 3Design offers. And, um, and I look forward to continuing the video demonstration series. Again, this is Joshua St. John, 3Design NYC at the Forum. We'll see you next time.